Temperatures overall not bad for October though, can't really go for wrong. For sure, we'll take it. Well, Iroquois Elementary hosted a ribbon cutting ceremony earlier today to celebrate the installation of a new nonverbal communication sign and buddy swing. Now, the special playground swing is designed to allow children of all abilities to enjoy outdoor play together. And what's neat about this is that the buddy swing was the idea of a student. Mackenzie Badowski wanted to make sure the playground experience is both safe and user friendly for kids with and without disabilities at Iroquois. The elementary is a United Way school and the new nonverbal sign allows students to point to symbols or images to express their needs and their feelings. Talk about a young entrepreneur already doing something well, like that. That's great. Hi, Mackenzie. Uh, and while it was a good day to be out on the playground today, right? You'll have to wait a little while to ski in the area. Even so, there's new technology being introduced right now to make getting on ski lifts at Peak and Peak Ski Resort a little easier. This is called Access Smart Gates, and it features radio frequency identification technology. It's pretty cool. That means a small circuit is integrated into season or day passes, and when guests pass through the lift line, the circuit will register their card automatically and hands-free and streamlined access. Now, the goal is to ease the lift ticket and season pass experience. And more on our website, erienewsnow.com. Just scan that QR code. Pretty, yeah. pretty neat. The last thing you want to do is be fumbling around as you're cold and trying to get on a ski lift, right? Especially taking the gloves on and off. It's a yep. pretty smart idea. Well, a new report says breast cancer has become more common in women under the age of 50. A study by the American Cancer Society says since 2021, rates have increased about 1.4% per year in women 50 and under, but there is no clear reason. However, Dr. Sonia Reed, a breast medical oncologist at Vanderbilt University Medical Center says it's likely due, excuse me, to what she's calling a modifiable risk factor like environmental exposure, food, air, water, even rising rates of obesity. Now the report did have some good news. It found the breast cancer mortality rate is down 44%, and that has been since the late 1980s. At least there's little good news on that end. Well, Jimmy Carter has accomplished something no other former U.S. president has achieved. He's celebrating his 100th birthday. The women Carter, who served the one term in the White House in the 1970s, has been receiving hospice care for the last 19 months at his home in Georgia. The proud Democrat told relatives he wants to hang on until October 15th. That is when early voting begins in Georgia, so he can cast his ballot at the 2024 presidential election. He's a former peanut farmer and Navy veteran, and during his presidency, he presided over the Camp David Accords that ended years of conflict between Israel and Egypt, and also made human rights integral to U.S. foreign policy. Remember that QR code is at the bottom of the screen. It'll take you right to our website, where we are talking about all the stories this half hour. Also